guys welcome back to my channel today i know you read the title and it's supposed to be a makeup tutorial and i bet you're like taylor why are you not sitting in your normal spot well glad you asked <laughs> I don't actually have the makeup for the makeup tutorial yet. Huh, yeah, what are we doing today? So today, I'm actually going to go to Target and buy all new makeup. I wanna buy makeup that I have never tried before, which is gonna be a bit of a challenge because you guys know I try new makeup every day, so it's gonna be, I don't know, it might be a little hard for me to find something that I haven't tried, which is gonna be the fun part. And then we're gonna come back and we're actually gonna use the stuff and review it and all that. I think it's gonna be super fun. My dad's gonna help me filming, so so let's go, let's get started. So I'm gonna pick a full face. We're just gonna walk around and I'm gonna pick some stuff up. First thing I need is a primer. I haven't tried, I don't think, Makeup Revolution. I'm actually curious, I know I just said primer, but I'm curious about their powder. I've never tried this, so maybe I can use this medium yellow. Oh, they have a mattifying primer. I don't wanna get everything in one brand, so let me walk around. I'm really eyeing Winky looks because of all this on it. That's so cute. So let's see if we can get something over here. Hey, I'm opening it. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can't see the colors. I want to see the colors. Oh, this really cool tone. I don't know. I'm going to put it in my basket and we'll see. But $25, wow. They have a brow pencil. Let me see. Which one is this? Universal pencil. Huh. Let's try that. Okay, I like this palette better and it's $24 and you get more shades. So I'm gonna get this one instead. So we have our full face of makeup right here. And now we're about to head back home and I'm gonna do my full face with everything in this basket. Okay guys, we are back from Target and I am so excited to get started with my makeup. I have everything double bagged in this bag that we will be playing with. Start with primer and I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Mattify Matte and Fix Primer. Oh wait, I didn't take off any plastic on anything. So long situation. Situation. Of course, I'm gonna edit all this out, but for me, it's gonna be a long situation. Okay, so let's apply this. Now, my issue with mattifying primers is that they do so well when I first apply them, but then like two, three hours later, I'm just as oily as if I didn't apply it. I won't be able to review the longevity of this primer because it's 7.30 p.m. on me <laughs> doing my makeup, but first impressions, it gave like a soft matte, like I'm a little bit more more matte than when I first you know started this video it isn't hardcore or anything like that so I'm not quite sure how it would work for a long day but it does seem to mattify at least a little bit and it does also seem to smooth as well my face is like extremely soft so that's really good next I got for foundation two shades I got the L'Oreal skin paradise water infused tinted moisturizer there are so many tinted moisturizers now and I feel like every week I'm seeing a new tinted moisturizer I don't know how new this is but I had no idea that they launched this you guys know I love to do foundation reviews but I thought it would be fun to just try a foundation just in a regular video like this as opposed to doing a wear test so I'm gonna swatch both of these the back of my hand which actually no I'm not <laughs> said that at the same time but this one is deep zero one and it actually looks like it's going to be my shade and the next one I got was deep zero two that one definitely wouldn't work if this one looks like this, you know? And you know what? I never do this, but let's blend it with our fingers. Why not? I don't know. The shade, it blends really nice on the skin. The shade seems a little bit orange. I really like the way that it looks on the skin, especially with that primer. It looks really soft and it does give you like that tinted moisturizer look. Like, you know, where you can still see your skin. It kind of just looks like you have on moisturizer. This is why I don't blend with my fingers because of this. <laughs> okay, I also got a L'Oreal concealer. Hopefully this isn't too light because I actually think I went 
it a little too light but for the fact that oh my goodness is this foundation oxidizing well this light concealer is going to combat that it looks like my face is getting orangier and orangier is that right orangier that sounds really weird <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. So we are gonna blend in this concealer and I got it in the shade Cashew 365. And we are gonna blend this as seamless as we can. You know, it's hard sometimes for me to pick my shade in a tube when it comes to concealer. For a lot of brands, I either have to get my shade or a shade that's too light. And the shade that was right after this was like my shade at my Target because I noticed that online there's always a lot more shades well I wouldn't say always a lot of the times there's a lot more shades than there are in store in Memphis it just kind of depends on where you're shopping in the city on the shades that are available which I find a little interesting I am just blending this in and we're gonna make this foundation work as best we can because this concealer is gonna kind of help with brightening as well as making the foundation look a little bit better believe it or not now powder I'm a little nervous about I don't know why I guess it's because I've tried a lot of drugstore powders I haven't found one that I truly love. I have some that I like, of course, but as far as like love, love, where I feel like it can take the place of Laura Mercier, I have not found that yet. So we're gonna try this one from Makeup Revolution. I got it in the shade Medium Yellow. So it's gonna be like a banana powder. I was gonna get the actual banana powder from Makeup Revolution. I know I've tried that in the past. That's the reason why I didn't get that. And I don't really like the packaging of it because I like a little container like this where it's easy for me to dip in. That's interesting. There's a mirror in here. So like when you dump out the powder, isn't it gonna get all on the mirror? I just dump the powder in there so I can actually get some powder. Oh, you see my face? I'm like so confused. And now the mirror is all powdered up. Anyway, so we're gonna dip in and set. So, so far, so good. That powder is looking really good. Again, this is like one of those products where I won't be able to say the longevity of it because it's 7.30, but I do like the way that it's setting and I like the color of it. I like the way that it looks just kind of first impression. It seems to really be mattifying right off the bat, which I think is really good. Cause what I find with a drugstore powders is that I have to use a lot of powder to actually get it to set down and not look dewy anymore. But this one is looking kind of like a high and powder so I'm impressed for first impression now this I'm very curious about because tell me why this bronzer was $20 you guys at Target I mean there's a lot of expensive stuff at Target don't get me wrong but I'm just thinking drugstore slash Target is $20 <laughs> Of course, I told you guys I went with my dad. And when I saw this and I said, this is $20. And he was like, what? Of course, that's all he said. Because he didn't know what this was. He didn't know what I was talking about. Let's try it. I got it in the shade, let's see, Natural Tan. And the brand is called Well People. I feel like this brand is a clean brand. But don't quote me on that. I've never heard of the brand. I'm just going based on like what the words were saying on the little section in Target. I'm not quite sure if it's showing up that much. It is showing up but I don't know if it's like super intense it's kind of hard for me to see because this foundation shade is a little weird but I do think it's going on a little bit I actually like the formula the formula seems like it's going on really smooth it's just the shade I'm just not really sure about but it's pretty especially if you want something that has a clean formula oh wait I'm looking up close and it actually has shimmer in it so yeah that's something to note most bronzers are kind of hard to see but I feel like you can still see it it's it's actually a pretty formula. I like it. I don't know if I like the shade, but I like the formula of it. Okay, I'm a little scared about this. We're gonna use the Universal Brow Pencil from Winky Lux. And based on the photos on the side, it should work out for me. I think it's gonna focus more on the formula than the shade because it's universal and it looks, oh no. That stopped me dead in my tracks. It's a triangle tip, you guys. Triangle tips aren't my favorite, but we are going to do it now all these products is I didn't I've never tried them I don't think because my memory sometimes is just not working but yeah I haven't tried these products I'm like 99% sure so these brows are lighter than what I normally do but they match perfectly to my hair color and I love that as far as like the style of brow pencil of course it's not my favorite so I probably wouldn't get much wear out of this for brow gel I actually picked up the elf 
clear brow and lash mascara i was just reading the back of it i'm like why would you want a clear mascara it says it enhances the look of lashes by keeping them nourished and shiny that's interesting let me know down below if you like clear mascara the brush is very big <laughs> you know normally brow gel brushes are pretty small but this one is big which i think is kind of cool a nice little switch up but i like it i like that now this is what i've been waiting for to use this eyeshadow palette this spoke to me in the store and i really hope the formula is good because that would be amazing if the formula is really good because look how cute this palette is i'm thinking i'm gonna do something a little safe to try to try out the shades start with this shade right here i'm gonna use that as my transition color and for the most part i don't use eyeshadow primers so we're just going right in with the eyeshadow and i do use primers but just mainly because i always forget it's so like i just go in with eyeshadow and i'm like oh I forgot to prime. Well, that was beautiful. That blends so nicely. This is my first time trying, I think, anything from Pixie, believe it or not. Which is like weird to even say because I know Pixie is like a really known brand. <laughs> but I've never really tried anything. Next, we're going to go with this right here and apply this to the outer corner. This looks really similar to the first shade that we used. Just a little bit warmer. Okay, let's pick a shimmer shade. I think I'm gonna mix this shade right here and this one right here together. See how that looks? Oh, that's pretty. A really pretty soft shimmer. Ooh, so pretty. Why have I never tried it? You guys definitely have to keep me on it. Wow, look how pretty that is. Mixing those two shades together. Wow. Okay, you know what? Let's deepen this look up. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. We're gonna make this smoky, like a night on the town. We're gonna add this to the outer corner and just build it up. Now, I only used a little bit because I like to build up deeper shades. You can always add, but to take away is a lot harder. So I spent a lot of time building up the shades that I want to be deeper just because I don't want to get like super muddy really fast so I'm just going slow and building up and I'm tapping off my brush each time that I pick up a little bit more product and that way I'm not getting really any fallout and then let's go back in with that previous shade that we used and we're just gonna blend the edges just a little bit to bring back that warmth into the eye look and then for the inner corner I'm going to use this shade mixed with this shade I'm just just mixing everything together today see one good thing about having a palette of this size is that you can play with stuff you can mix stuff together you can always create new looks I love this palette it is so pretty if you're looking for a palette that you can just run and get pop in the Target and check this palette out hey I love how that looks okay so we're going to smoke out our lower lash line and I'm gonna take that rusty shade that we applied as the second shade in the crease and apply this to the lower lash line and then using that deeper shade that we used and apply this super close and then I got these super cool lashes these are from Ilore London and they are the number 15 lashes and they look so intense and so pretty there were so many lashes to choose from and these like legit called me so I had to get them. And then I got the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara. And we are going to apply this to the lower lashes and just to my real lashes on the top. Okay, and then for blush, I picked out an orangey blush. And this is called Hot Frenzy from CoverGirl. Just apply this directly to the cheeks. Woo, that is pigmented. only did two taps. So let me just build it up on this side. Perfect. For highlight, I got this highlighter from the brand Undone Beauty. And it's actually like four different highlights. It's called the 4-in-1 Highlighting Palette. And I think I'm going to go in with the gold shade here and apply this to my cheeks. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and see how that applies. And this was the one product that I was a little bit suspect on 
um, whether or not I tried this. It's the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. <laughs> the longest name ever from NYX and it's called Nebula. I feel like I've tried these lip liners before. This was the one thing that I was kind of like, eh, but it was the only like dark purple lip pencil at the Target that I was at that I could try. So let's give it a try. And then we have two lipsticks. I think I'm going to go with the NYX one because it's matte. It's the suede matte lipstick in the shade Spicy. And you guys know I love red lipsticks. So of course I got two reds, even though I probably should have went with a nude for this look, but why not? Let's do it. Powder all on my shirts. The powder went everywhere. <laughs> so this is the completed look of how I did my makeup using all the products that I got from Target earlier today. Thank you guys as always for watching. Make sure you let me know if you like this video down below in the comments. I had a whole lot of fun creating this look. This look came out so much better than I thought it was going to. I really liked most of the products that I tried today, which is so amazing. Thank you so so much for watching once again make sure you subscribe before you leave and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys